Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the High Gain series. Man, isn't it cool to be back in the High Gain oh, series? Yeah, we ain't even supposed it. to be here, guys. We are, we already finished the High Gain series, but I'm addicted. I got a problem. I keep buying guitars. So, <laughs> so if you know anything about this channel, man, we did 10 high-end, custom-made guitars from around the planet to try to introduce you to them. We're now we finished those 10, but we're now back to going back and interviewing a lot of those makers of those guitars. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the last one. It got caught up in the paint booth. It was a little late getting to us. This is actually number 11. Mm -hmm. We weren't supposed to do but 10, but I told you I got a problem. I need a support group or something. But anyway, <laughs> so long story short, man, if you don't know nothing about this guy, man, I waited like six and a half months on this guitar and that's on me because I messed around with him for a month or two trying to figure out how I wanted it to look because I designed everything on this guitar. And this is a handmade guitar, one man show. And you know, I was thinking about it the other night. We got my own S, we got Cervasen, we got PRS. Man, those are just amazing guitars. But if I had to go in there and grab in a last second grab, man, I'm grabbing these one-off luthiers. Yeah. You know, there's uh, it may be my perception, and yes, you're probably spending a tad bit more, except my own is there expensive, no matter what you do. Yeah, a little you bit. Know, you're spending <laughs> a little bit more for these, but these are, as you said last time, man, there's blood, sweat, and tears. This is one man show that built this. He did it from the scratch. He did every single thing on it for us. Yeah. So if you don't like this guitar, yell at us, because we designed it. <laughs> So what you're looking at today is a BHI Orion, and it's spelled O-R-I-O-N-E, and that is Italian, I believe. I think there's a pronunciation of Portugal on that word. Yep. Uh, I believe uh, the builder's name is Luca. Luca, don't kill me if I get it wrong, but I believe we pronounce in America, we just pronounce Orion. Orion. And... Uh, I'm not even going to mess you guys up by trying to do the Italian pronunciation. Is it like Orion? No, it's like that's more French. Orion right? or something, but yeah. I can't do it. I'm not trying to. <laughs> so what we're going to do, man? Uh, we designed this. Uh, Luca is the the head and only person over there at BHI, and man, he's such a nice guy. He worked with us. He was in the middle of a bunch of projects when we started this. I knew it was going to take a while because he had so much other stuff going on. Um, in the middle of that process, he had a huge guitar show to pack everything up and go to. He had orders in front of us. So don't let that time frame really affect you because that was all my choice. But I wanted one of these guitars. I wanted him to build it. And I was willing to wait because I have a lot of friends in the industry and they just rave about this cat. So, um, and I'm going to promise you this, you're seeing it on video. Dude, this thing is unbelievable. Yeah. It is way up, way up the chain on who builds anything. And I'm talking about at any price. We're going to get into price point, everything to do with it here in a little bit. We've got a little unboxing video that we're going to cut to now. talk to you for a minute we're going to let you listen to it in a mix but right now we're going to try to go over the specs and you know when we do the entry level metal series it's pretty easy there's like four or five specs mm -hmm. when you get these built it ain't so i have a cheat sheet <laughs> the certificate of authenticity 
And because we designed it, it has <laughs> everything on it. So this body is a curly ash. It's beautiful. But it is not a swamp ash, so it has weight to it. It has definite weight to it. Um, it's got a one-piece top, and that is curly poplar. And me and Luca went back and forth. That back, I had saw him do that uh, a couple years ago on a different guitar, and I was like, absolutely, 100%, that's the back of my guitar. Yeah. So I had him go find that wood again to cut that. Ripply looking. It's so slick. Love um, it. The curly maple, we looked at 20, 30 different blocks. We actually ordered a different block, and for some reason or another, the shipper couldn't get the block into the country. Mm -hmm. Some kind of deal with customs or whatever, so we changed and we went to this block. And actually, this is probably my favorite block no matter what. It just it really fits this guitar. Um, so the fretboard is ebony. The frets are extra jumbo stainless. Um, it has a black tusk nut. Um, it is a bolt-on. It is a 25.5. Um, it has a 16-inch radius, so that's very flat, but not sort of as flat as a 20. On There's a tiny bit of curve, mm -hmm. so the playability is really easy. It's not like, remember that SVS we did? Mm -hmm. It's just like a board flat yeah. on that fretboard. It's a yeah. 20. This is a 16, so it's got a little radius to mm -hmm. it. How much? Um we had another problem that kind of slowed this down, and nothing against them because I love them to death. You know, they're my favorite pickups, but it took a while to get the bare knuckles. Uh, I wanted juggernauts in this. Um, I didn't build this as a gent machine, but it's like a gent machine's little brother because it's only six strings. Yeah. But if you watch this channel, we have a gent monster coming. <laughs> It'll be the next one on the high game series. And we ain't supposed to be doing them anymore. My yeah. wife's going to kill me. I just keep ordering guitars. Anyway. Uh, so this has all hip shot products. If you know this channel and you know me, we're doing hip shot cross the board, everything mm -hmm. we can. Um, it has a master volume. It has a five-way switch. Um, we obviously did the top in a high gloss, and the back is in a just a straight oil finish. And no video of this guitar can really show you how well this is put together how nice the curvatures are, how everything blends and flows, how sweet that neck is. Mm -hmm. um, it's just gorgeous. And so flip it around and see if you can turn the headstock to where they can just see the headstock. If you, if you go back and look at the unboxing, you might be able to see this, but I asked him to do me a favor, and some people may not like this. I wanted it done. So right here on the headstock, he wrote in his own handwriting, of course, here's the serial number and everything, the company, but I had him write here in his own handwriting as kind of a signature that he made the guitar, but I asked him not to put my name on it, but just that he made the guitar, and I believe it says, um, it says, fully handmade by an Italian luthier, and then he's got it signed up on the top, and I had him put that on there for me. Because they know you, you can't get this guitar from me. It, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, if you ever in your life, man, you're waiting on one thing, you dream about it all, you know, you know what I mean? That'd probably be this. When it comes to this, those, those cellos, mm -hmm. that Reichhardt, and that Ashwood, man, it may be perception on my part. Yes, you can order a Scurvason. Yes, you can order a Mayonnaise. And nobody can say a word about them high end PRSs. Yes. But these just have a different soul when one guy Absolutely. builds them. Yep. When just one person builds them, what you end up with, that Reichardt, that Ashwood, those Lacellos, this guitar, when you touch it, you just know something's different. Mm -hmm. It just, there's a little bit of calmness that comes over you because, man, it just plays so good. It really does. So the, the neck is amazing. Speaking of that, we're going to shut up and let you hear it in the mix. We're going to come back and talk to you about price point, what it took to get it, blah, 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 blah. And we're not going to give you a preview of the next guitar because I really ain't supposed to have it. <laughs>
Okay, we're back. You got to hear it in mix. Oh, yeah. Now, um, Juggernauts. Amazing pickups. I'm going to say this. After having Ragnaroks by Bare Knuckle, these Juggernauts, the Lundgren family, um, and those Aurora Tones. Woo! Yeah. Those Aurora Tones, man. That's an amazing pickup company. If you don't know nothing about them, you really need to go check those guys out. That They do amazing pickups. Mm -hmm. So to me, I feel like if you got a band and you need a guitar player, whether it's rhythm or lead, and you need him to complement the band, mm -hmm. you need to be, him to be in the mix and complement the sound. That's Ragnaroks all day. Yeah. They're hot. They're aggressive. They're they're articulate. Uh, amazing job by Bare Knuckles. I think if you have a band that doesn't need any compliments to the sound of the band and you want to put a guitar into the mix and you just want it to be in your face, Juggernauts. Mm -hmm. And we have a new guitar coming on this next episode of the High Game Series, which we're not even supposed to be doing. Um, and it's going to be a seven-string version, and it's going to have juggernauts in it. And you're oh, going yeah. to get to hear the gent monster. <laughs> that's what that's going to do. These are very bright. They cut through any mix. They have a certain amount of bottom in. Mm -hmm. But unlike the Ragnaroks, kind of are focused bottom mid. Yeah. And you know what I mean? They just fit a mix perfectly. Mm -hmm. They complement it. This is, so if you just had a bass player, a drummer, <clears throat> Nothing else, and a guitar player. I believe the Ragnaroks are going to set better in that mix. If you got a rhythm guitar player, this is all my opinions. But if right. you got a rhythm guitar player, bass player, drummer, maybe some other effects going on, that's what's going to set in the mix right. Yeah, I, I love the way these pickups sound. It was just like you said; they have um, they have a really pronounced brightness to them, but they do have a good chunk as well. Oh my God, they sound so good. So I'm a huge fan, and until we started this series, I would have laughed you if you'd have told me I liked any other pickup on this planet. I've learned to really like uh, Lundgren's. Mm -hmm. I do too. I, I've learned to just almost worship the ground that Aurora Tone works, walks on because what they did for us, they built us a custom set and they kind of mi mixed a Black Heaven M6 style Lundgren sound with a bare knuckle juggernaut sound. Mm -hmm. And it kind of gave us the best of both worlds in those uh, ultraviolets that we got on that seven string. Ridiculous. So mean, mm -hmm. so aggressive. It, that's a really that's a really good pickup. So kudos to you guys at Aurora Tone, man. Um, and hey, we may even be doing an interview with those guys. We're gonna try to talk to them on our interview series. Uh, along with this guy. Yeah. Um, so where we're at on this, you're probably looking about $3,500 US. This guy's in Italy. Everything on this guitar or everything that he touches is made in Italy. Does it by itself. Um, a lot of primitive tools, a lot of up-to-date tools, but he does this by hand. Um, you're probably going to be about $3,500 to get it across the planet if you're coming to America. It's going to be a little different if you're in Europe and you got your VAT and all that stuff over there that we don't pay. So, um, whether you like the color of this or not, let's not talk about that. Let's just talk about this build. If you had somebody in America, if you was in America, or if you had a big box builder build this, mm -hmm. you're probably looking at double maybe more to purchase that guitar yeah and the fact that we can still get these individual luthiers to do this for us and i'm not saying they're cheap but what you get yeah it's a lot of money to put out up front mm -hmm. uh, or split the payment on however you do it but man what you get in the end you know you couldn't walk in here and offer me six seven eight nine thousand dollars for that guitar you can't buy it yeah no you, you can't get this from, I mean, you can get it from something like this from any other custom builder, but from any other kind of like big brand, no. No, and if you get this from big brand, boy, they gonna yank your chain, and you're still going to get something, in my opinion, that does not have the personality and the care that he took to build this, because, hey, his whole company rides on every single guitar he sends out the door. Mm -hmm. One person sending something back that goes, hey, man, that guitar really sucks, and I paid all this money for it, he... He may not have a business anymore, you know? Yeah. So that's why I'm really particular to these builders. I love 
Reichardt, Ashwood, uh, Lacello, uh, uh, BHI. I can just call them and talk to the guy building my guitar. Yeah, that's and, awesome. And I don't go, you either build this right or, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't have to because he already knows his business hinges on that. So you can just close your eyes and send money to any one of them companies and, dude, what you're going to get back is amazing. Yes. Um, I told you it took me about six months to get this guitar. Some of that is on me. Some of that, well, all of that, not all of it, 90% of it's on me because when I chose to have him take the order, I knew he was backed up and I knew I was going to have to wait. And I also knew there was a bunch of orders in front of me and it took me a while to really set in stone what I wanted the finished product to look like. And, and he's amazing to work with. We went back and forth, man, for probably a month, month and a half on different colors, different thought processes, what I wanted the guitar to sound like when it got done. We have just very intricate detail. So, man, it was just, it was an amazing process. Yeah, it took longer than pretty much any other guitar. That's still something that I kind of respect and compliment, though, is, is even with that time frame and you know you have other people in front of you, mm -hmm. that's still not a bad time frame well, and I mean, for he's this a one, kind of quality. I know. He's a one-man show like mm -hmm. everybody else I've been talking about. And so you get into a one-man show and you get somebody ahead of you. You know, he has to give the same care to that person as he's given to you. So yeah. you can't. You can't get mad if you know somebody's in front of you. You want him to do that guitar just as well as you want him to do your guitar. Yeah. If you don't know anything about BHI guitars, they're based in Italy. Um, they're hand-built, one single guy. What's up, Luca? <laughs> Amazing cat. Um, we have WhatsApp to death. Yeah. We have we have burn up <laughs> WhatsApp with Luca. Fantastic guy. Um I've never seen anybody that put a bad review that ever said anything that, that's not just to this cat. He really does nice work. Yeah, I mean, it, it is a beautiful guitar. It sounds amazing. It plays amazing. I, I love the fretboard to it. So, if you don't know nothing about it, go check him out, man. Just jump on there. He's got a bunch of guitars. He may or may not have anything in stock at the time. I think every once in a while he's got something in stock. Hit him up. Um, just message him. Uh, he's got IG. I believe he's got Facebook. I'm not 100% sure, um, but he's all over YouTube. I mean, there's a tons of reviews on these guitars. I know he's on IG. We talk on IG, uh, but uh, I got him up. I just I, I messaged him off his page. He sent me his WhatsApp number. We just started talking that way. I sent him half down and half when he finished it uh, and, and just cannot say enough good stuff about this guitar and i could not be happier with what we ended up with it's beautiful mm -hmm. and he can do anything man he's got some of the craziest colors uh he has uh headless he has uh six string seven string eight, whatever you want he can build it. um and this is just the series i like i was looking at our collection the other night man i'm like you're just strung out on super strats you know what i mean i just i'm strung out <laughs> on that body um, but anyway, we've kept you guys long enough, but I hope this video gives you a little insight to this builder. And man, even if you, if it's something out of your wheelhouse, you can't do right now. If the money's not right, just go check this guy out. Look at what he's got. Uh, definitely. He is definitely a showstopper in Europe at all the shows. Um, his guitar work is, uh, amazing. And even these other big builders in Europe that we buy from, when they find out that we ordered from him, they're like, yeah, we own one of his too. You know what I mean? <laughs> so even the builders buy from this guy. And they all do that vice versa because all these companies build amazing guitars. But long story short, if you don't know nothing about them, you need to check them out. Uh, it comes in a really nice form-fitted case. Um, it was packaged well, as you can see. It's got the BHI logo on the case. Just amazing work. Uh, for what you pay for it, I don't know if you can find a better deal. I agree. So, we have kept you long enough. We're not going to preview the next one, we, but we got another one coming. And if you've missed any single video in this series, I promise you, you don't want to miss this next one. It is going to be. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. So, until next time, guys, thanks for everything. Stay tuned.